does he have cooked up? And we're gonna see. Wait, this is like. Oh, is this a very similar base to what I just saw in the previous match here? As we're seeing a Queen of Charge Blizzard Dragons to help remove that eagle. Pops the hound. Gonna chain to the multi. Hit the royal champion. Not take her out. Ooh. Gonna take out the scatter shot and the archer tower through the chain there. A bunch of these lava puffs are dead as the queen is going to come down as well. She's gonna make her way to the right side. Continuing her way that way. As what else? We have baby dragon onto the archer tower. Onto the left side, which can get some very nice value. With a wall break into the wizard tower here to help grab the wizard and then continue potential a charge into the ground expo. Where's this queen going to go? Is she going to continue right or is she going to walk to the... No, but she does indeed walk to the expo. Rages her up. Going to take out the air defense next. And the enemy queen should be fine. It's only the enemy queen with under a rage. Sends the royal champion to the bottom side. That baby dragon is actually getting some crazy value there. The royal champion is going to go for the scatter and then work her way into the multi-target inferno. We have the multi-mortar going down. RC ability. He's already lured out the CC of the Lava Hound. Makes, drops another rage for his queen to continue through. Baby Dragon goes down. Ice Golem off to the far right side. Gets sprung. And he does stun that multi so the Royal Champion can try to help secure it. Trying to take this area down with his king so that the queen can path her way into the town hall. RC just dies off. He's got a minute left in this attack here. The Diggy's going to help try to help the queen move over to her. Rage the queen up, keeping her charge intact. Pops the king ability. Queen's walk her, her way to the town hall. And here comes the dragons with the warden off to the far left side. And the town hall becomes invisible. Uh-oh. And the town hall is hitting those healers. Queen needs to remove it as he still has some headhunters to send into the royal champion. Drops the poison. Can pop queen ability. Has lost the queen's healers. The poison has not got launched. That queen is somehow out of range. Pops the ability. The poison. The tornado trap. Oh! The warden ability trying to protect these dragons. The queen taking out the air expo as he's moving his way around. The air defense is hitting him. He's going. He's trying to path his way towards the builder hut as he's making his way through. Oh boy. Can he do it? 10 seconds. It's a race against the clock. The headhunter is there. The warden's helping, but time is not on his side. Three, two, one, and it's a 96% two star for Rabby. Hey, you, Mask. As he's going to bring some Queen Charge Super Barbarians here with a couple headhunters. Hmm. With that warden walk to start on that left side to help clear this area. With the Flame Flinger behind, there's a Skeleton Donut to take out the single. The Monolith. The another Invis is down. There's the Multi that's in range, but he's got to keep him invisible. So he's taking out the Monolith. It is going down. There's the Earthquake. Goes down even faster and activates the Town Hall. So that the Flame Flinger can go and try to secure it. As we've got the Yeti to the bottom side down here. Clearing that. Warden is continuing his walk. Then we're going to have Super Barbarians potentially being dropped around this base. He drops a Hog Rider to pull the Poison spell early. That's nice. As the Warden is taking out the Air Expo, so the Flame Flinger can continue its way towards the Town Hall here. As the Queen's going to lure this Warden. And there we go. The Queen is down. Get ready for potentially a King to move in with this Queen. Okay, drop. I think he might have dropped like an Archer there to task for Teslas. As a golem is going in, there's a super barbarian continuing his path in. Does not have a jump, but he's got four super wall breakers to use to move its way straight on in. It will probably open up. No, opens up the air defense first. Then we'll open up the bomb towers. He continues his way in. The Electro Titan. There it is. Out comes an Electro Titan and Rock Balloon from the defending CC. And going into the scatter. There's another wall break all the way into the core by that multi tar inferno. Eagle locks onto the Electro Titan. More super barbs around. He's continuing this charge in. Pops the king belly, taking out the scatter shot. And the town hall has been secured. As the flame flinger is going to go for the poison spell. 
moving his way in. Steals a bunch of super bobs to deploy around this base. As he pops that warden belly, protects the queen, protects the electro titan, takes out the enemy queen with uh, some skeletons to protect the world champion as she makes her way around the edge. Still looking pretty good. With a yetis and an electro titan coming out of the flame flinger. 53 seconds. That queen's getting some nice value. Gonna grab the palm tower. He's got two phrases and a handful of super barbs. This is looking like a three. As the super barbs are making their way around, down goes the Grand Warden. Super Barbarian's taking out the point defenses on the outside. He's got the spells, freezes up the enemy Royal Champ. He's got the Queen ability, and he's got it. That is going to be a three star. The Skeleton Donut Super Barbarians mask. Brilliant. Very nice attack. Swag in the RC ability and starts off with a three star gg plan is going to be with hog riders and some sneakies he's got the lightning and earthquake here with that warden walk to start gonna re wow there's a ton of storages over here oh my that's a lot drops a balloon e dragon to help chain through some of oh that warden that warden the warden the warden the warden no it was getting hit oh no I didn't even notice it. Ripped the Warden ability. What was hitting the Warden? The Warden's gone. The multi is going to kill him now for sure. Uh, a Sui Warden? Okay. I mean, if this triples... What? Uh, rip to that Warden. The Tesla's are going to be getting locked down by the Flame Flinger. The E-Dragon's going to be going down here. There's the Lightning. Onto the Scattershot and the... Rage Tower here. The Mortar is hitting the Valk as he's sending that Flame Fling up and throughout. But no healers for that Warden. So, that hurts. I guess he did funnel a little bit. But he might have forgotten his healers. He could have. I guess we'll see. As we've got that King to make his way towards the Town Hall, it looks like. Not towards... Okay. The king is going to the town hall. Singles there. Has not lured out the clan castle. There's the freeze onto the town hall. And single headhunters into the defensive king. But the expos all on him are crushing through him. It does have the phoenix. But the queen now is bailing from the... What? The queen is somehow going to the town. What is happening? The queen went for the expo from over here? What? Pops the ability and she... Oh my gosh. And she stops hitting. What is happening? What is happening? He sends the Sneaky Goblins into the Town Hall, which does secure it, but... Dude, his heroes are completely messing him up here. As Royal Champion, gonna go into the Eagle Artillery with these Hogs. Out comes the Balloons, Rock Balloon, a Dragon Rider, into the top side. But as you see, he wanted that E-Dragon to chain to get some storages and have the Sneakies take out the Town Hall while his heroes went into here, potentially, but... Great effort there. Nice try. Is he still has 12 sneakies left over? But his troops going, or his heroes, I should say, going all over the place. Wow. Well, but anything still can happen in these types of wars. These creative matches. One stars are very possible, especially when you're going all out for it. You never know what may happen. With that raged up archer. OP. Getting the 69 to a 70. And there it is. And that's... Gonna be rip to the sneaky. Running all the way across. Hey, it doesn't die. OP sneaky. Stayed alive. 70% to... Nice try, MWC. With the Hog Riders. Looks like a skeleton donut. As he's got six invis. A skelly bat donut, I should say. Gonna look to take out... Oh... Never mind. I'm lying. It's going to be a Super Archer Blimp, maybe? No clone. Maybe just a Blizzard? Uh, so, okay. So, he's got a... He's got the Electro Titan, which is going to act like the Poison. Wait, what? He does a Blizzard and a Bat Spell at the same time. Oh, he's trying to take out the Multi. Wait, what? Imagine if that worked. Whoa. Uh, imagine... Imagine! That would have been sick! Oh, that's an idea. 
Blizzard, and then Bats to utilize the invisibility spell. Okay. I see you. That is pretty sick. Wow. Imagine that. That can spark some ideas now. I never thought about that. That's an idea. Okay. Now a wall break into the scatter shot. So he can move his way through here. Electro Titan easily takes down those lava pups. That was definitely very creative. A plus for effort there. That would have been sick. But with that king now gonna make his way closer to the scatter shot. No warden just yet. With the ice golem to lead with some hogs into the cannon and giants off to the far left. There's the RC. Now that look, he's completely separate separate each one of his heroes through this attack here but he does have to deal with whatever comes out of the defending clan castle the, there's a the freeze under the scatter the queen no it doesn't freeze this queen but the bomb tower the skeletons oof that's quite annoying makes the rc invisible to try to remove the multi and the air expo does grab the scatter shot so that's good makes the queen invisible oh he wants to get this queen to go for the town hall wait what are you really he, the RC is going to die here, but the Builder Hut goes down. The Queen has ability. Will she step into the Town Hall? Freeze at the Town Hall in the Expo. The Diggy is actually providing some distraction. There's some hogs into the cannon. Look at the value from his Queen here. 49 seconds of Pop's Queen ability. Town Hall will be secured. And here comes the uh, hogs to the far right side with the Warden. There's a Rage Headhunter to get crushed through the Royal Champion, but the Tornado Trap... The tornado trap is spinning these hog riders around. Unfortunately, that's the huge problem. As the scatter shot is gonna even oh my god, these hogs are gone. They didn't even last a second. What the hogs got like two buildings? <laughs> Bro, those hogs just vanished. Oh, rip to the hog riders. But that was a really cool blizzard bat. That was sick. Wow. Do hogs need an upgrade level? Dang. The tornado trap, spinning those hogs, ruined the dream on the right side. But it is a 74% two star for demo, so it could go either way. Nice try. And he's got the E dragon, six E dragons with a blimp, looks to be, and the invisibility. You're gonna fly over this eagle. There is some balloons, the blimp. To move his way through. He's gonna pop the oh oh he finds a tornado trap. He finds a tornado trap straight away. As this blimp is gonna be spinning. As he's gonna land in between. And what is he gonna try to remove? There's the invis. We've got super wizards in here. He's raging them up, trying to clear this core. That lava hound is distracting these super wizards. They're gonna step up to the other multis, clearing the core here. They're taking the multis, taking the eagle down, trying to take the queen down, and the enemy queen does not go down. And this multi stays up too. He does have a couple super minions to utilize. That lava hound has got no health. But that queen, once she pops a hound, she's going to go down instantly. As the king is down, freezes up the expo, sends the e-dragon straight into the town hall. Poison gets launched, but no warden ability. This easily could be a one star but these e dragons don't take this town all down there's the freeze they're gonna stuck on the king he's got a couple more free spells to use moving his way through he chained his way okay they do step their way how do they oh okay they go for the storage i was like but they are gonna go to the town hall next they are raged up over here king's ability he's gonna get picked off by the enemy queen town hall is going down as these e dragons are gonna continue to make their way around We've got RC now into the scatter shot. The Tesla's down here. Baby Dragon onto the cannon. He's continuing his way through with one super minion. The enemy RC is going to be too much for his RC. No spells there. Ability goes off. Skips through. Oh! She dies. Rip to the RC. That multi is going to definitely be too much. The E-Dragon pulling some traps. Queen's going to die to the... Ooh! Okay, she stays alive. She's going to get healed back up. Scatter shot... Has been damaged. Queen will walk into the bomb tower area. Diggy will stun it. It goes down, but Queen steps into her death. And she is gone. 
as is a two star here for Rabi. Nice try. With the Blizzard E Dragons. Minions around. Archer taking out the army camp. 90%. Every building will matter, my friends. Every building will matter. 92. Can he get to the final percent for a 93? Archers. Seven. Five. Three. Two. One. Nope. Just the 93%. To ask, looks like he's gonna close it out. So, Demo's got the E Dragons with three bats and a couple invis. Okay. So, Demo wants to bring some E Dragons. There's the triple. No. He's going for the CC, the multi, the eagle, the other multi. He's gonna clear out the core with the bats. Look at this. The whole core is going down. He grabs it all and he gets it. This man gets an inferno, two infernos, a CC, and an eagle artillery. Oh my goodness. How does he get all that value? Well, it's like I would have to be sitting up properly, just like pinpoint, but he's just chilling in his bed or on his couch under the covers. You know, look at this man. He's just so relaxed. Oh boy. With the e -dra or the Yeti to the top side at 12. With an E-Drag off to the right side. To help clear the right side here. Air defense does go down. Now going to use the E-Dragons into the town hall. The whole core is gone. So you don't have to worry about that. As a Flame Flinger is going to get the scatter shot. He's got another Rage to use for the town hall area. Poison spell slowing these balloons down. E-Drag, one E-Drag over there getting some chain value. There's the freeze on the single and the town hall. Still has the war internal tome. There's the rage. He can pop warden ability. He's not doing it just yet. He's waiting as long as possible. Pops it. Does miss a few E dragons there, but they threw the single. That's going down. The electro titan will make its way over to the RC. This man still has his queen, king, and royal champion. Took out the enemy queen there. Making his way around. There's the queen behind the king now. Continuing his way through with the RC coming into the right side. This is looking crushed. He's got a freeze. He's got an invis still left to utilize. The e drag is taking that out, but the value that you get from that skelly donut, or not even, I guess it was a skelly bat donut because he removed multiple with the bat spells, is he's coming around. This is crushed. Moving his way. RC ability. Taking that down. e dragon grabbing the scatter. Diggy stunning the monolith. Well done. Look at that. And the E-Dragon. And there's the swag. There's the swag spells. The Skelly Bat Donut E-Dragons. It is a three-star for Demo. Giving them even more of a lead. It needs to triple. With a couple Inferno Dragons. He's got an E-Dragon. The Invis. And full of them. Five. Using Rocket Loons to grab and snipe out those air defenses. E dragon a chain up top. I'll grab the arch tower up there. Is he gonna try to send the inferno dragons for the town? Okay, he might. Yeah, looks like he wants to use the inferno dragons for the town hall area. Continuing to drop these balloons and rocket balloons around to grab the archer towers, so he can continue to get that value. He freezes the town hall as the inferno dragons snipe that king, take that down. He's getting some nice value there. They're going to slow down here. He's got another couple freezes. There's a balloon to test for a seeking air mine. He makes it in. One freeze. Is it, is it enough for the... Oh, the eagle locks onto it. The eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle. Ow, ow, ow. Come on, Inferno Dragon. Yes. The Inferno Dragon charged up its beam to full and takes out that town hall. As that goes down, now we got a blimp warden ability protecting that blimp to fly across then we're gonna have a blizzard over the top okay oh he just lands before the sweeper pushes them back again as he's looking to remove the scatter shot the royal champion the multi-target inferno and a defensive rage spell maybe if he can chain through it okay and the rc yes it chained from the rc to the spell tower takes that down so he's cleared he's breaking this base apart here he still has his heroes with a jump spell but no warden ability and there is the king down to the bottom into the eagle with the electro titan and the queen 
We have a single target Inferno here and a jump to potentially jump into the section. Maybe the Royal Champ from the right side. But we don't have too much time. Gotta get the Ice Golems down. He's got some spells in terms of a Poison, a Freeze, and an Invis. The Electro Titan, oh, just got out of range of the single, so it does reset. Royal Champion is down. The Ele What the heck? The Electro Titans are just getting out of range. They are setting off the single, then resetting it as he's continuing his way through. There's the King ability, but he's running around the space. The Ice Golems need to protect this Queen. She takes the jump straight into the single. That will go down. Royal Champion, she's going to burn her ability through this Tassel Farm. As he's continuing his way through, Headhunters are coming across. Oh, they're going to take out the enemy queen. We have one. We have the Ice Golem that will freeze up yet again. The Electro Titans are going through. Those archers clutching up to take out the Tesla. But he doesn't have too much time left as he's still moving his way around. We've got the Electro Titan getting picked up. The mob, the queen's got her ability. Has an Invis. Time is going to be against him. Makes the queen invisible. Secures the monolith. Very nice effort there. That was a great try. Using the, the Inferno Dragons to secure the Town Hall. And I would say this is a time fail, but I think this Ground Expo might just be too much here as the Queen's got to go through a bunch more walls as it is a 91% two-star. Mask is looking comfortable here as they are all tied up. 8 to 8. Any stars here will give them a lead in this war. One star will be a one star lead. Two star, two star, three star means that a judge voting won't even matter because you can't come back from a three star deficit. As we've got Inferno Dragons, 17 Rock Loons. There is the Earthquake Lightning around to take out the Monolith. And he does not take out... Oh. No. <laughs> Rip to the Invisibility spell as that stays up. Ouch. Invis does not go down, my friends. That's a problem. As he wants to also send the Inferno Dragons into the Town Hall. Pulling some traps. The Town Hall is not activated. And that's actually really nice the way he did it. Is so that the Town Hall won't be hitting these Inferno Dragons as they make their way closer to the Town Hall. But the Invis is going to be a problem. He's got one more Inferno Dragon. He sends it. Really? Is, you're not going to test for a Seeking Air Mine? You think, is, you think you're safe? He frees... No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is he going to do? He's got the freeze again. He's got the freeze again. No, he makes it invisible. So they re Wait, is that enough? Is that enough? Is that one invis enough? Oh, so he's going to have to freeze. He is. Okay. He is able to secure the Town Hall through the combination of the spells. But was that too many spells to invest to help grab that Town Hall? And so we've got the King up top. The Queen, the Warden, the Log Launcher to all move through towards this Eagle Artillery into the defense of King, taking this down as he really wants to protect everything with that. When you pop that King ability, you pop that Warden and Turtle Tome to protect moving your way through. There's more Headhunters to go through. There's a Tornado Trap spinning around. Warden ability as he's coming through. Going to try to take out the enemy Queen. Jive Bomb, the Skeletons. So many traps through this section, including a triple Ice Golem, but he crushes through the enemy Royal Champion, through the Raged up headhunters and Rockaloons all flying into the right side at the same time. He's gonna try to cross tank as these scatter shots are distracted. The Royal Champion still moving into that multi target inferno. This is not looking too bad as that Queen's still up with ability. RC's got her ability. Two more Rockaloons to utilize. Look at this. RC's ability goes through. And my friends, we're gonna have a three star here, which means. That there's no coming back from a judge vote, no matter what. As down this goes, and Mask putting on a performance right there, my friend. GG crushing that base right there. What an attack. Wow. GG. But look at the score. It is 11 to 8 with a percentage of 74.8 to a 70. Which means that there will no be any judge voting to influence the outcome. Because three bonus stars cannot be... Made up, they could, but the percentage won't be there. So GG, congratulations to Mask and Demo for advancing.